I wanted to take the old girl out for one last ride before I tear her apart. She's pretty. I don't know about that ugly guy driving it, but the car's pretty. Finally working on the 57 Chevy. Uh, it's not going smooth. Starting with the gas tank. Got the gas tank back there. Can you see it back there, honey? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, got the old one out. That's roached really bad. Uh, gas tank was going fine, but uh, I decided to start taking apart the leaf springs. Uh, take the old ones off to put the new ones on. Uh, I was going to try to do everything myself. And uh, I'll get it done, but uh, <laughs> it, it's tough going. This is not working on this old stuff, it's not easy. So, this stuff has been on since it's been made 1957. I can't even do the math, but uh, it's some tough stuff, tough, tough going. It's not necessarily the uh, most technical stuff to do, but it is some of the hardest stuff to. I, I just got done breaking a bowl off. So rusted, it's just so, it's just so rusted. Uh, you know, I thought I thought I started turning the bolt. I guess I should have put heat to it. I can use a grinder to grind them off, but I didn't want to throw sparks all over the place and burn down my garage. So right now I'm just going one, one fastener at a time uh, to see what I can do. So I am working on the 57. Enough talk, I started going at it. Uh, uh, I'll get it done. It's just, it's not. The gas tank was easy for the most part. Uh, these springs, taking this hardware off the springs is, is tough. It's uh, just because I'm down on the ground, I got no leverage or anything. If I had it up on the lift, it wouldn't be near as bad. I could probably, if I was in a garage, I could. So now you want a lift. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to have a lift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the next step. Yeah, that's a lift. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> Yeah, yeah, can you get me one for, for... Yeah, sure, we'll put, we'll put that on the list. Okay, sounds good. But, you know what, so what, so it, it's going to take me a little bit longer. Most of the stuff I told you before, most of the stuff I do, I plan about a tenth of the time it's actually going to take. Uh, I was going to put the gas tank back in it, get it rolling around, and making sure the gas worked good. Uh, the gas tank was fine and everything good was in good running shape uh, again the gas tank was so roached uh, it was just it was, it was it was dirt I mean not dirt but rust on the inside it was just horrible it's it probably about 50 years past due get a new gas tank and then just not realizing here's the here's the downspout from the back of the uh, where you fill the gas at and uh this is so rusted. I can't reuse this. This is horrible. So I had to order a new one, which is no big deal. It's just things I didn't really, for whatever reason, I just did not uh, uh, put on the list to buy. I should have uh, live and learn. But uh, so this thing's all roached out too. And, but uh, so I got another one of those coming. Uh, got new hardware sitting here. I got new shackles. Uh, I got. I, I didn't get going on the, the front end yet. That that will that I might take to my buddy's garage to do. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna do the front coilovers and stuff like that. I mean not coils, front coils and stuff like that. I'm not gonna do that here. I don't think. But if I, I just gotta get this done again, I gotta take one bolt at a time. Not plan on doing anything, but just tackle that one bolt at a time. So I'm getting there. And, and meanwhile, I saw these tires on the front tail. These are a little bit taller. On the front tire I have, uh, actually like a, it's only a half inch taller, supposedly, 
And I think I can fit it in there. Looks a little taller than it needs to be right now. It's only because it's, it's not on. It's, the car's not sitting on fire, but it uh, sh should only be about uh, half an inch taller. So about a quarter inch each side of the wheel. So I, I should, it should be able to fit. At least that's what I want to put on. And I will put them on sometime. Again, I keep on talking about putting uh, the tubular front end on it, the, or the upper and lower control arms. Uh, Justin Kill makes a real nice set and change it over to S10 spindles and stuff, uh, and then uh, get the better brakes. Uh, working on this thing is, is it's a breeze comparison. <laughs> working on this thing, I'm just not used to working on this old rusty stuff, but. Uh, that needs love, all needs love, but uh, I'm gonna put these wheels on. If not, I gotta wait until I can get the coilovers in the front and have it sit a little bit better. I, I, I don't, I like it, I like the stance just uh, not up, not, not, not like a gas or a street freak, but just a little bit of a, a nice stance. Uh, we'll see, but they were on sale, so I, I, I had to give it a go. Uh, to me, it was kind of hard finding the, the size, the size. Uh, size is it? 165 a r15 uh, these are 155 a's r15 and uh, just a tad bit taller I don't know it's just something I look at I see it's like I got front wheel envy one of the cars I see uh, just a little bit fuller front wheel uh, again I got it at a decent price and Push from the shell, I'll sell them at a yard sale. I don't know, right, honey? Yep. Yard sale. Yep. We got it. We got, we could have a hell of a we yard got sale. A hell, <laughs> hell of a yard sale. I got so much shit. I, I, I apologize for the, the way this garage is. I got shit all over the place. Uh, you know, I, I was watching somebody else on YouTube, and they said uh, one thing you got to do before you start a lot of things, you got to clean everything up, and then when you go back into it, it's well. I did that just believe it or not, I just did that over uh, uh, the past weekend. I cleaned it all up and within a day it got shit all over the place. So uh, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, let's take a look at my friend's new ride, see what you think of that. Uh, I know this is Vega Chronicles, but uh, I don't care. Any car I think is cool, I'm putting it on here. So uh, take a look at that. and. Uh, That's a badass little car, I like the stance. He knew the motor was shot, has zero oil pressure, so he's trying to blow up the motor and or the rear end. He has plans for it. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see that thing out. So, what do you think of my buddy's ride? I know, I'm Vega Chronicles. Uh, but it's a badass car. And that noise you heard was him trying to blow up the motor. It had zero oil pressure, that was bearing knock. Uh, I was either trying to blow the motor up or uh, Cause he's gonna get a new motor. He was motor. trying to blow it uh, up, not me. Or blow the rear end out. Either or, but that's a really good solid car. Uh, looking forward to seeing that on the road. Uh, he acts pretty, uh, he's pretty much like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna put, he'll, he'll be some nasty motor. Some 1301 compression, badass motor. That's what I think. He says it's gonna be mild. I, I don't think he does anything mild. But uh, cool car. Looking forward to seeing it on the street. Uh, as far as the Chevy goes, got the one side off, and I realize the only way I'm doing it is grinding it off. Got to cut, cut with a grinder, and 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 the air chisel. Uh, I thought maybe I could, maybe take them off. It ain't ever gonna come off. They they weld weld together, so it's going okay. Uh, before I start on this. Let's skip back a little bit. I had one pro one last project I wanted to get done before I started on this with Vega. Let's go check that out. My first purchase was, excuse me, my first purchase was a way back when I first thought about redoing the, the system and I bought 
uh, old school. I think it's from a 72 Chevelle or 72 Corvette. I'm not sure. Uh, and it was a good, good piece supposedly from what they said online to, uh, uh, turn it over to a better master seller. Well, I had this for a while and I just couldn't bring myself to put this on. Uh, I'm not really too crazy about weight as far as like, you know, oh, I gotta get the car as light as possible. At least, at least it, not this, this step of the game. Uh, I do have a fiber, fiberglass hood I wanna put on it, but uh, and a couple other things. I mean, I, I do wanna get it lightweight, but what, what I'm getting at is this thing, this thing is so heavy and it's not an exaggeration. I mean, this thing, like, I dropped this on my toe, I'm breaking my toe. I mean, this, this thing's crazy heavy. I mean, so I purchased that a while back, quite a while back, and I had it on my shelf, and I just couldn't bring myself to put it on. It just, to me, for whatever reason, I just, it was too heavy. Hopefully I'll sell it sometime, or maybe I'll use it for something else. So what I did do, I bought one from Jerry. Oh! <laughs> I, I bought one from Jags. It's like a Wildwood or Willwood knockoff. And I saw good reviews about it. So this is what I'm going on. And honestly, this, compared to this, this is unbelievable. This is almost, I bet it's close to eight times the weight of this. If this is one pound, this is eight pounds or nine. I mean, this is heavy. So, you know what? I don't want to go backwards. So I got something a little better, uh, a little bit more lightweight. And hopefully this will work out good. It's also a nice looking piece. I mean, uh, so that's what I'm doing right now. And uh, I mean, I got a line. I got the flaring tools. Oh my God, I'm dropping everything. I got some, uh, got some, uh, I also got a proportioning valve, which I'm not putting on right now. I have a, a good combination valve. And why I'm not going that route right off the bat is because I'm going to put the master cylinder on, get the best I can. So I got my new master cylinder mounted. I go through the whole ordeal, learn the whole brake system, which is fine by me. To me, for whatever reason, it seemed like there's a whole bunch of stuff I just had to learn from scratch, which is fine. I, Brakes always seem like us, uh, some type of mystery, like why, why they work so good or don't look work good. Well, kind of figured that out, I think. But I got the master cylinder mounted. Let's go. We're test running.
said that wasn't a very eventful ride. Glad everything went smooth. I was expecting the worst and hoping for the best. Okay, that's all for now. So I'm still, still chopping away at this. Uh, kind of finding out what needs to be done. Uh, probably after I get this one done, I'll probably be able to do them a little easier, but I'm not sure how many 57 Chevys I'm going to get to work on. But it's pretty cool. I'm anxious to get this done looking the way I want it. And uh, hoping my wife can drive this one and I'll drive the Vega to to shows and cruises and stuff like that. That's that's the big turn. That's the big plan, whether it works out or not. I hope it does. Uh, my wife don't really like being in Vega no more. Uh, she loves the car. Uh, she, she's one of these that she loves it when she's driving, but not not so much being a passenger. I can understand that. But uh, so let's see how it goes, and I will kept, definitely keep you up to date on the progress of the 57 and what else I'm doing on the Vega. Uh, I'm sorry I've been a little slow to uh, getting videos out. It's just a winter slump, man. It's just winter slump and. And you know the winter blues, you know the gray skies. It's like, oh man, I don't think it affected me as much as I was younger. Now it's like, oh my god, it's like, uh, it's not another we can't can't have the sunshine. It's gray all the time, man. But uh, enough of me complaining. But so uh, I'll keep you posted, and I'm, I'm hopefully ho hopefully uh, keep the videos coming out. Remember to like, subscribe, uh, tell your friends. Leave a comment if you want, and uh, okay, I'll talk to you later. Thanks.